Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I would like to give you more information about the quick control functionalities. Now, if we head over to the voice, you can see at the very top the quick control option. Now, in order to use it, you first have to select the device you wish to control. So I will select this device. And if I click on quick control, you can here see on the right hand side, you got several options which allow you to send certain commands to your device. For example, the power on off, the panel status on off. You can actually open the entire remote control as well, or you can give it a quick restart, change the source, the schedule of the channel, the volume, the muting, and you can empty the storage. Now, what is the big difference between remote control and quick control? Obviously, if you open remote control, you will get this screen again, uh, which you're most likely familiar with, and you have just way more functionalities than you have for quick control, hence the name. Now, an important thing to know is if you wish to turn on or off your device via either quick control or remote control, you first have to tick a box. And this box can be found here on edit, display control, if you scroll all the way down, you will here see the network standby option. Now, by default, this option is switched off. And you have to make sure you switch this option on in order for you to reach your device at all times when it is connected to the internet, of course. So this means that I can currently switch off my device. So as you can see, the device is now switched off. And if I do not have network standby switched on, I will not be able to switch my device back on using Magic Info. So this means I will physically have to go to my device, use the physical remote control, and then switch the device back on. However, thanks to the network standby option, all I have to do now is select my device, open quick control, and select power on. And by doing so, the device will switch on again and reconnect to the server so that it will be visible again and you can change the content if you want to. As you can see, it's playing content again and it's now back online. And this is quick control, the options that you have and the one trick that you do need to remember, switch on the network standby for all of your devices. Thanks for watching.